So, what's going on with you and Candace? You worried you're not going to be able to describe our pick and roll coverage or something? Oh, no, there's nothing going on. Look, I didn't realize I wasn't calling on her until you text me. <clears throat> I gotta say, MP, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. After everything I've done to get you here and make you feel at home, how is it exactly that you want out this early in your career? This isn't a good environment for me to develop professionally or personally. Mm, Yo, yo, so I just got off the phone with your agents and they want me to set up an interview with Candace Green. It's your turn to set the narrative. I'm not gonna lie to you, man, I'm kinda nervous. Well, as you should be. You're about to go on national television and complain about your boss. Now, I don't want you thinking that you're doing the wrong thing, cause you're not. I mean, you got the right to work for whoever you wanna work hey, look, for. Look, I hear you, Rig, but that's a lot of eyes on me, bro. Yeah, that's why you make a lot. It's the Cavaliers to start out. And Grant, as you watch the league since you retired, what do you think is the biggest change? Well, you started to see the three-point boom change towards the end of my career. And of course, also, how centers are used is probably the biggest change of them all. Now here's LeBerk. Can't get it to fall. Allen against LeBerk. A shot by Holiday, no good. And here comes Cleveland. Pass to Garland. Here's Mobley. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Clock at six. Here's a train with the 10-footer. And the shot no good. A bit short. Kumpo outside. Now here's Allen. And here's Middleton. Nice shot from the wing. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter, but he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. Here's a train. Knocked away. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. On an Akumpo, a screen on Garland. Deflected! Pass to A-Train. Driving to the basket. 
After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Holiday. Checking the numbers, he's averaging close to 15 a game. Anadokupo finds Portis. Good! And Anadokupo gets the assist. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Here's a trade. In his last outing with 12 points. Pass to Allen. Back to Holiday. Now Middleton. Portis outside. Now wanted to Kumpo. It's rebounded by a train. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Allen, the pass to Middleton. Three pointer, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Pass to Garland. This one for three. Rebound by Middleton. The Bucks have gone two of six from the floor. Lana Kumpo outside. Portis, the pass to Middleton. Knocks it down from distance. Middleton's got his second bucket. The Cavs trailing. Holiday and Connaughton are the backcourt pair. Middleton is the three with Giannis in at four. And it's Clark in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Sexton, that's good. This is a shot Colin Sexton has worked so hard to improve on. Can he be consistent from three-point range? And it's Middleton finishing it off. Ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. And the Bucks shooting 40% so far in this one. Anadokounmpo finds Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's his first foul. That's Portis. He's checked in for the Bucks. Allen comes in for Connaughton, and a switch here also for Cleveland. LaVert's checked in. Here's Holiday, and Holiday powers it home. Boy, I'll tell you, when Holiday shifts gears, he quickly leaves people behind. Thanks, guys. Well, A-Train in their last time out against the Rockets really lit up the floor. He had 12 points in addition to scoring strong on the glass with five rebounds, too. He showed just how reliable he can be when his role on the floor is expanded. Guys, back to you. Okay, sounds good. We'll see if today is more of the same. He has to be excited by the challenge. Oh, he should be. I mean, he's feeling good. He's playing good, so I know he's ready. Uh, no doubt. He is locked in, seems so comfortable with where his game is at. Boy, has he been fun to watch. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Pass to Mobley. Bob with the ball, defended by Portis. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Shooting for Cleveland. Well, coaching styles vary around the league doors. But what do you think the priority should be for a coach to be successful in the NBA? Priorities are innumerable, to be honest with you, B.A. These guys have an incredibly difficult job. You are stopping the best players in the world who have become so skilled. And so, number one, can you motivate players? Number two, what is your philosophy on offense and the field? Can you stop the opponent's best guys? Uh, can you put your best guys in their most advantageous positions? Listen, coaching in the modern NBA. Is... That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Earning a That's the end of the first half with the score. Your box. Seven. I 
I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. On the court right now for Cleveland. Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Karis LeVert is out there with Darius Garland. And it's a train in at the three, the small forward. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Allen with a screen on Allen. Down low. This for the tie! LeVert outside. Over Middleton. The shot by LeVert, no good. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And that one's good, Middleton. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Allen with a screen on Middleton. Here's A-Train. Pass to LeVert. Here's A-Train. Can't hit that one. Great D that time for Middleton. Milwaukee has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. The Cavaliers have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Steps back. Garland pass to Allen. And the bucket is good. Allen's got six points. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. When he first came into the NBA, Graham, Darius Garland was a little bit of a mystery. He only played five games in college because of an injury, but it didn't stop the Cavs from taking him with the fifth pick overall in 2019. And that's how obvious his talent was. It was clear his yeah. offensive skill set would translate to the NBA. And when you've got a guy who can shoot over the defense or can get into the lane and finish, you can't pass him up, no matter how many games he played in college. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. And a train gets it to go. Darius. Well, Darius Garland showing good vision and making good decisions. Exactly what you need from your point guard. Kumpo, a screen on Garland. The shot by Holiday, no good. They've been dominating the boards today, yet it's still a close game. Allen finds Garland over Holiday. The offensive rebound. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Jared Allen. Fox call time out. All right, it's a complete. Well, Cleveland's shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. The foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Drew Holiday out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Portis in at the center position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Baseline try. Garland, no good. Milwaukee has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Pass to Middleton. Going inside. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Cavaliers substitution. Jared Allen. Shot from the inbound. It's stolen by Garland. Here's a train. And stolen by Middleton. Allen against Garland. Holiday passes to Middleton. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. And too long on the shot. Pass to A-Train. Allen with a screen on Middleton. Inside. And it's Allen who slams. 
sends it home. And he's now got the double-double. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now. Now here's Anadokounmpo. He's covered closely. Now to Portis. Takes the three. Cavaliers with a rebound. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Garland finds Allen. Into the lane. Here's a trade. Antetokounmpo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Antetokounmpo affects so many shots with his length. Clock is at three. To the middle. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. And the Bucks lead by eight. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Yeah, and one more stat that jumps out is their steal total. They have wreaked havoc on the defensive end. Holiday against Garland. On a coupo, can't connect. For Cleveland, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's a trade. Middleton covering. Milwaukee foul. Yeah. Shooting. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. He's perfect from the line this time. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. Outside Holiday. Back to Ana de Kumpo. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And stolen by Ana de Kumpo. And here's the fast break by himself. There's the block. Outside Garland. Pass to Mobley. Outside to Levert. Here's a trade. Middleton covering. Here's Mobley. Shot clock at five. Now here's Allen. Defended by Portis. Here's Levert. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Milwaukee in the lead. Lada Kupo. Left side. Can't get it to drop. Nice D from Allen. Well, the Cavaliers shooting about 43% on this one to the paint. Here's a train. And it's rejected. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. Back to Garland. Six on the shot clock. A shot from the high post. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient score inside 10 feet. Here's the pick to the inside. And stolen by Antetokounmpo. And so they foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. 29 seconds Evan Mobley. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Yes, his commitment to delivering a superstar performance for his team. The effort he puts out on the floor really can't be overstated. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Pass to a train. He connects. Assistant. And now they trail by just four. This guy's such a good all-around player. Karis LeVert. Chevalier's foul. Karis LeVert. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Third to avoid it. At the line for the and he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. Cleveland. All right. Look who's coming out of the court. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. They set the pick. 
Garland for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. They've led by as much as 10. Oh, there is foul. Darius Garland. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. So I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day, and peace out.